Hi, my name is Saurabh and I'm a partner with PwC focusing on supply chain transformation. Today, I'm going to be talking about procurement transformation as a key focus area that we are seeing with many of our clients across sectors. In one of the recent surveys conducted by PwC in 2022, where more than 800 participants across procurement functions, CPOs, CXOs participated, the top theme that came out in that survey was S2P, which is source to pay digitalization. What that really means is 77% of organizations globally and in India are really looking at that as a key initiative this year. Second key theme, risk and compliance. Given the current times and the challenges around us, risk and compliance and controls has become a very, very important area to focus on. Third, cybersecurity. Companies are focusing on enhancing their cybersecurity across functions and procurement in particular. And lastly, ESG. ESG is one of the most important topics in the current times. Companies are focusing on environment, social and governance aspects into their procurement functions and trying to make sure that ESG is ingrained in the way procurement functions and organizations operate. Joining with me today is Abhishek Ghosh. He is an executive director with PwC and works along with me in the procurement transformation domain for many of our clients. So Abhishek, uh, what are your views on procurement digitalization? Digitalization is not the end objective. It's very crucial to identify the levers which are going to improve certain KPIs, which could be around cost, working capital improvement, compliance or productivity or a combination of all of these. Now with the uh, introduction of technology or digitalization along with the business process changes, it is going to bring certain benefits to the business. But equally important is to align the stakeholders with the need and the benefits of the program. And subsequently, continuous measurement of the KPIs, the improvements through the dashboard is another important aspect of this program. That is the reason the companies are rethinking their procurement transformation journey, not only from a tech perspective, but more from a value-driven or outcome-driven way. Great observation. And I do completely agree that the clients are looking at a lot of outcomes in addition to technology implementation in the procurement domain. What do you think about the overall technology landscape out there and what are the key considerations clients have these days? Well, sort of, uh, if you look into the overall journey of procurement technologies, traditionally the ERPs used to take care of the operational procurement part of it. Businesses used to have some solutions uh, around sourcing or uh, vendor collaboration but these used to be primarily uh, on-prem solutions, number one, and uh, some of the solutions which were uh, homegrown or a custom-built solution. There was no standardization around these solutions. With the introduction of cloud-based procurement solutions, most of the challenges which were there got addressed. The challenges were around integration to the back-end ERP, scalability, accessing the global vendor base and most importantly the user experience and the adoption part of it. While getting into this uh, procurement transformation journey, one important aspect is the selection of the right kind of tool or product. Typically, addressing the business requirement with the right kind of solution along with the associated cost have been the triggers for selecting the right solution. The ease of integration, the scalability of the product in terms of future roadmap, the access to the larger supplier base, handling of the huge spend volume, and the mobile user interfaces, which are actually driving the businesses to select the right product. In terms of implementation, there has been a change as well. Rather than going for a big bang approach, companies are thinking to adopt a more agile mode of implementation. It gives multiple benefits. First of all, you have the opportunity to get into the return on investment in a faster manner. Secondly, the learning from the first phase into the subsequent phases actually increases the overall adoption of the system, which eventually is going to give you the desired benefits. So Saurabh, what are the typical benefits or outcomes the organization should look at when they think of embarking into the procurement transformation journey? 
So look, uh, currently we are seeing a huge focus on organizations embarking on such a program. And the simple reason is they want to make their procurement function fit for future and a very resilient function. Given a lot of disruptions that have happened in the recent time, they want to make sure that the procurement function is like a business partner, which is adding value and can sustain those kind of ups and downs which are happening currently. In terms of outcomes, it's a very, very integral part of such a program. And the outcomes could be tangible or intangible. The typical outcomes that I see clients asking us to deliver are around cost reduction, uh, enhancing compliance and controls. They also want to make sure that the overall productivity of the procurement function increases and the procurement function focuses not only on admin activities, and they want to really reduce that, while you know, they want to shift the focus to more on value addition, market intelligence, negotiations, those kind of activities is what they want their procurement teams to focus more and more on. A typical procurement transformation can last for nine months, kind of a tenure, depending on the size of the organization. And within those, that period of time, organizations can surely leverage the technology, the process changes, the new operating model, the category strategy, to arrive at many of the outcomes that I just mentioned. So to sum up, the critical success factors of a procurement transformation program are number one, identification of the clear objectives. Secondly, alignment of the stakeholders. Thirdly, selection of the right technology. And fourth and most importantly, is driving the program in an outcome-driven manner in a timely way.